they did it. The Supreme Court has officially overturned Chevron deference. This is probably one of the most important Supreme Court decisions in modern history. And if you don't know what Chevron is, that's okay. They don't really teach it in schools, but I'll explain it to you. I graduated from Yale Law School where I focused in constitutional law, so I'll try to decode this rather simply because you need to know how this works. So basically, Chevron deference dates all the way back to 1984 and the Reagan era. It was a major Supreme Court case having to do with the EPA, where the court essentially ruled that where a rule or statute is ambiguous, the federal courts must defer to an agency's interpretation of that rule. Most day-to-day -day life and functions for you and I are run by federal agencies. For example, the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, makes rules about clean air and the environment. The FDA makes rules about food, the CDC, the Department of Education, the Department of Transportation. We have the FBI, the IRS, the VA, the list goes on and on. They essentially run our country and that's who we, the people, interact with the most. Now here's the kicker. The leaders of these agencies are not elected. They are appointed by the executive branch, the president, which means when a president or the administration changes, the rules and the leaders of the agencies generally change. So they'll flip-flop from Democrat to Republican, Democrat to Republican, and back again. Anyway, most Republicans and Libertarians absolutely despise Chevron deference. They believe it gives government and agencies way too much power, and especially for people who are not elected. Still, the idea is that these people are experts, doctors, scientists, whoever, and they should know best how to interpret the rules. And because there are so many rules and so many functions and so many people in the United States, it just makes sense to have experts and specialists cover them. But the court today completely did away with that and said, nope. The case is Loper Bright Enterprises versus Raimondo, who is the Secretary of Commerce. The court's holding is highlighted below. The APA requires courts to exercise their independent judgment in deciding whether an agency has acted within its statutory authority, and courts may not defer to an agency's interpretation of a law simply because a statute is ambiguous. Chevron is overruled. The decision was split 6-3, conservatives on one side, liberal justices on the other. And Kagan in her dissent is like, this is absolutely crazy. She writes, what actions can be taken to address climate change or other environmental challenges? What will the nation's healthcare system look like in the coming decades? Or the financial or transportation system? What rules are going to constrain the development of AI? The court has basically taken all regulatory power away from these agencies in the federal government and placed it into their own hands. This also gives power back to private organizations and corporations. For example, say the EPA has a rule about where you can dump your waste and products, and BP or some other oil company is like, hey, we don't like this because it's super expensive. We're just going to dump our oil wherever we feel like it, wherever it's cheaper. This makes it a lot harder to control their actions. This is most likely going to save a lot of money for some very rich people. Conservatives have been trying to get rid of this for years, and they've finally done it. This is a huge win for DJT today.